Hey guys, welcome to Bastion Time. I'm your host, Bastion. This is a special edition of Nintendo News about the Nintendo Switch Live presentation. I think it's about to begin, uh, so this is my reaction to it. Let's go ahead and watch it, or actually it doesn't look like it started just yet. So anyway, um, let's talk about the fact that if you've never seen my channel before, and you're looking for a reaction where somebody's throwing themselves across the room and screaming and, oh, there's a countdown now, 56, 55. Um, that's not me. I'm not going to be throwing myself around the room and covering my face probably or anything like that. I'm just going to be real. And if that means I don't say a single darn word, sorry. Um, but you guys asked for this, so I'm giving it to you. We'll see how it goes. But anyways, the countdown now says 33, 32, 31, 30. So, um, yeah, I don't know what to expect from this. It's pretty exciting. There are all kinds of rumors about a special new feature, not new, but a special feature that hasn't yet been revealed. Uh, a lot of people think it's VR, but I think it's probably going to be something else because they're talking about it like... It's something that we've never experienced before, and VR is already out there. Seven, six, five. Okay, let's just watch this. I'll stop babbling. Two, one, zero. So we're at an EDM show, apparently. That's really loud, and it's probably being picked up through my microphone, so I'm going to turn it down a little bit. Okay, a lot of preamble just to get to the presenter, which I think is the president of Nintendo, who's going to be presenting in Japanese, but apparently it's going to be live dubbed in English elsewhere, so we'll see how that goes. Hello? Hello? Everyone. Everyone. I'm Tatsumi Kimishima, I'm Kimishima from, Nintendo. from Nintendo. Thank you very, Thank you very much to all of you who have joined us here. I think this is his first time doing a presentation like this. He didn't do anything at E3, if I remember right. Many people around the world watched the Nintendo Switch video we released in October of last year and reacted quite positively to it. This video is introduced to the Nintendo Switch console. I kind of thought they would start out with a bang and like start out with a brand new trailer for Breath of the Wild or something that would show off whatever this as yet unrevealed feature is, but I guess they're going to build up to that. <laughs> Let's see if the rumor of March 17th at 250 is right. March 3rd. March 3rd. So fast, so soon. Converts to dollars. In North America, okay, three hundred. So not the two fifty that was rumored, but three hundred is not that bad. For the price in Europe, please check with your local retailer. Next, I have information about Nintendo Switch online services. With Nintendo Switch. You will, of course, will be, of course able be able to enjoy, enjoy online, online multiplayer. multiplayer games. Of course. <laughs> when you use the smart device application, application that will connect to Nintendo, Nintendo Switch. Switch, you will be able to will invite be able friends to play online, 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 set play appointments, set play appointments and chat with and friends, friends while enjoying, while enjoying online, online matches and compatible, compatible games, games, all from all your smart device. 
that sounds pretty cool. Being able to play uh, with friends and whatnot and arrange all of that with your smartphone or a tablet or whatever. A paid service. Uh, oh dear. Region locking. Which limited play to software software the same region that the hardware was purchased. But with Nintendo Switch, we have revised our approach and decided that in general we will not apply region locking to Nintendo Switch. Very smart. Finally listen to the fans. Here, I would like to switch over to the man response for Haha. Switch over to the Mr. Nimodo? Oh, nope. I guess I didn't listen to what he was saying. Good afternoon, Good afternoon everyone. I am Shine Takahashi, Shine Takahashi, and I lead all Nintendo, Nintendo software, software development. development. Nintendo, Switch Nintendo Switch has inherited, has inherited DNA, from DNA from each of the many of hardware, hardware systems, systems Nintendo, Nintendo has released, has released today. today. The Nintendo the Entertainment, Nintendo Entertainment system, system included two, two controllers in the base system. system. Game Boy made it possible to bring video games out of the home. Of the home. Super, Super NES, NES added, added the X and X Y buttons, buttons and the L and, and the R, R buttons, buttons to enhance, to enhance the, fun. the fun. Nintendo 64, Nintendo 64 offered the world's, the world's first analog, analog control stick. Control stick. And, and it introduced, it introduced a, rumbling a rumbling controller, controller with the development, the development of the rumble pack. The rumble pack. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We put a handle put a on handle Nintendo on GameCube, Nintendo GameCube so, hits so hits could be carried could around. Be carried around. Even Which even time, I always thought was bizarre. Game system, game system that you could take with you, but it seems we were a little, a little too soon. soon. A little. No, but I don't know if anybody that did that. With the Wii remote, motion control, motion control became, possible. became possible. And the Wii U, gamepad, Wii U gamepad enabled you to, enabled you to play, play games, games off, the TV. off the TV. And now, and now Nintendo, Nintendo Switch, Switch has, inherited has inherited all of Nintendo's, all of Nintendo's entertainment, entertainment DNA, DNA, and we have packed and have each and each every one of these features, of these features into, the into the system. Nintendo is Nintendo constantly, constantly pursuing, pursuing new forms, new of, forms entertainment of entertainment to bring more fun and more smiles, and more smiles to the world. world. And the new entertainment, the new entertainment we will present. present I'm going to reach down and grab my tea really fast. This is Nintendo getting a little long winded. My tea and my special Super Mario Bros. mug. I feel like this is all self-evident, but... Two and 
two and a half hours isn't terrible. I mean, I think that a lot of people probably don't have commutes longer than two and a half, so it's reasonable. That's pretty cool. Local wireless with two switches, pretty cool idea. What do you think? What do you think? With its three play styles, Nintendo Switch evolves gameplay, making it more active and offering greater freedom of play. And what makes this possible are the Joy-Con controllers. To tell you more about the new types of play the Joy-Con will enable, and to tell you about Nintendo Switch software, I'd like to switch things over to general development producer Yoshiaki Koizumi. Thank you very much. Hello everyone. Hello everyone. I am Nintendo, I am Nintendo Switch, Switch General Development Producer Yoshiaki Koizumi. It's, it's great to be here. Great to be here. Controllers, are Controllers are very important when it comes, when it comes to, video, to games, video games, right? I don't know why we need a whole section about the Joy-Con controller. Allow me to introduce them to you in detail. These are the Joy-Con Joy set in the Joy-Con Joy grip. grip. This is the basic is the style basic when style playing on the TV. On the TV. Now, now, let me remove let me the Joy-Con. Joy These are the Joy-Cons. The Joy They're so tiny. They're like much smaller than a Wii Remote. It's strange how they're asymmetrical. And each stick can also be pressed like a button. This Joy-Con has the familiar A, B, X, Y buttons. And beneath them is the home button. A little D-pad up there? This house-shaped mark. There is an NFC reader writer. Oh, that can read and write and write with data as well. And please look at the square the button square on the joy -Con. Joy -Con. Yes. This is the capture this is the button capture for capturing button. screenshots, screenshots of your, of your gameplay. I don't get why we and need that, but okay. Video as well. Oh, video. You will be able to share the screens you capture with friends over social media. Huh, you won't need any special modding to record things for Let's Play then, probably. Cute little name, sharing so, the joy. Nintendo Switch comes with two controllers right from the start. And when you play with these Joy Cons, they fit in the palm of your hand just right, like this. And they feel very natural. For example, I mean, the analog stick is really close to those four buttons. Okay. But we still have many things to share about the Joy-Con. Yes. A magic trick. What's he going to do? Is it going to double? We have prepared Joy-Con color oh. variations. Colors. Ooh, I like the blue one. Actually, I like the red one too. I mean, I've never once used 
the Wii remote strap. I always remove them. I've never accidentally thrown it across the room or anything. It's great for games that have you swinging your hands, attaching to your wrist, so you won't drop it. And it makes How many people drop it, though? I've never dropped it. It's so silly. That is freaking cool. I mean, we've seen a pattern describing exactly this, but I didn't know they're actually going to implement it. Is it going to be based on an existing IP? Doesn't look like it. It's going to be some sort of shoot 'em up or like a quick draw. Like an old western, two people standing off and then seeing which can draw their gun first or something. Looks like I called it. I mean, that could be fun for like 10 minutes, but... Wizard battles. So there are different modes, it's not just shooting guns. Tennis and stuff.
Your typical Your video typical game video has you playing has while looking at some at kind of some screen, screen, right? right? But, but once you switch, you can be played without play looking at any, any screen. screen. Because so you get all that feedback from, from the remote. That was a pretty cool idea. It's a pretty cool idea. So you can bring Nintendo Switch to parties, after parties, indoors or outdoors, any place to gather or meet. You simply one, stand Nintendo Switch up. Two, grab two Joy Con. Three, hand one to a friend. And just like that, with these three steps, the place you're in becomes the game world, and everyone is ready for fun. We're creating one to switch to be a staple for parties and to become an icebreaker for all kinds of fun. One to switch features fun for everyone, gameplay made possible by its joy con and it releases March 3rd on Nintendo Switch. The launch date. Thank you very much. Do you have to buy it separately though? It feels like that's the kind of thing that would come pre-installed. Let's look at a game with depth, challenge, and replayability that uses the Joy-Con. A new gameplay experience is born. Let's switch to it. I mean, I think Wii Sports came with the Wii, and that was like their killer app that made people really want to buy the Wii because it was like this new exciting experience that you could have with a bunch of people at parties or gatherings or whatever, and 1-2-Switch seems like it's that kind of thing too. So it really feels like it should just come with the Switch. It doesn't seem like you should have to buy it. But what is this? I'm not quite understanding what we're looking at now. It's like a boxing game. I mean, it looks interesting, and I would probably, if it came pre-installed, I'd probably play it like a few times, but if you have to buy it, I'm, that's not happening. I'm not buying this. It's not really my cup of tea. This is my cup of tea. Lame joke. I had to get one this hour-long video. Sorry. It's also it's like also shooting, like 
shooting. Like shooting. Where you aim and fire. Distant opponent. Distant opponent. To play arms, play arms. You hold one Joy-Con Joy in, in each hand. In a thumbs in a up thumbs pose. Up pose. The Joy-Con Joy senses, senses your motion. Your motion. So, when you punch, so when you punch, your character, your also, character also punch. When you twist, when your, you fist, twist your fist, your punch curves. Your punch curves. With this, With this you, can you can pursue a distant, distant enemy. enemy. You, move you move your character by tilting, by tilting the Joy-Con. Joy and by combining, and by combining dashes, dashes and, jumps, and jumps, you can perform, you can perform a, variety a variety of actions. Of actions. I mean, it does seem cool, because arms but... care about this one. I wish I could hit a fast forward button. Mm. Here are some of the here characters, characters here in, here in the game. game. Springman Spring and Ripper Girl. Girl. I mean, it is cool that they came up with a new IP that they very clearly thought out and have fully designed. So I give them props for that. I just wish it was something that I actually cared about. <laughs> Since, frankly, this is boring me a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and grab my protein shake, which I have hanging out down on the floor down there. They better because expecting two people to bring their switches to the same place it could happen, but... Arms marks the emergence of Nintendo's newest characters. As you can see, mastering the Joy-Con controls can bring a new field to the head-to-head fighting game that demand a high level of strategy and tactics. I hope you'll look forward to it. Next, Let me get a little more comfortable here. More Splatoon! A new version. I don't know if I told you guys about this, but I got to play Splatoon in a pretty interesting experience. Um, when I went to E3 two years ago? It wasn't last year, it was two years ago. Um, you know, mostly we were interested in at that point it was Wind Waker HD. Uh, maybe that was three years ago then. I don't know, I lost track of time. But um, anyways, so that was the majority of what we were paying attention to, but um, Nintendo has their own special private quiet area where they invite certain people to schedule a time to take a tour of, and then they have like an actual representative of Nintendo sort of showing you these games personally instead of just a booth babe or whatever. Um, anyways, so we were looking at Wind Waker HD and various other things uh, and kind of were ignoring Splatoon and then they were like, hey, there are four of you and that's how many characters, you know, play at once and, you know, eight play in Splatoon or whatever. Would you guys like to come and play it with, you know, four other people? And we were like, mm, I guess we didn't want to offend them, but... So, anyways, I was one of the first people to get to play Splatoon, and it was actually a lot of fun. Splatoon 2.
this is my neighbor. A new variety of squid. Been about, been about two years two since years I first since discovered the squid, squid, and it seems and there have been there many have changes been many to the changes squid world in that time. Turf War Turf is therefore on four team based battles where two where teams continue to spray the ground with the ink and cover the most turf. This remains a popular sport, but it appears the battle stages have changed and the fashions and weapons used have also evolved. Oh. Here we see the latest piece of technology, this weapon set is called the Squad Duelings. Not only do these dual wielding weapons let you shoot wielding. also have nozzles that can propel you at a high rate of speed to help you your opponents. It is Very a fearsome cool. weapon in the hands of one who has mastered it. And it appears this the special weapons which can be activated after spraying enough ground to think are all brand new. Surely with the introduction of new weapons, all new pretty, pretty cool that it's like completely redesigned and isn't just a switch port. Splatoon 2 looks cool. I almost forgot something very important. Very important. That's what Splatoon 2. Splatoon 2. Is. Is. Plan for launch. Plan for launch. This summer. This summer. Oh, summer. It's not a launch yeah, title. This time. This time. Stage. Stage. Weapon, weapon updates, weapon updates after, after, launch. after launch. And there are also plans, are also plans to hold to ongoing, hold ongoing in game. Oh, I get it. He's making a number two with his body. Oh, that sounded gross. Hopefully he's not making a number two right now. Squid, do you think? What is this? This doesn't look like anything I'm familiar with. Oh, it's Mario. Fancy new overalls with seams and things. What the heck is this? What? What? No, I, I don't know how I feel about it. It looks like he's just in the real world now. Where's the Mushroom Kingdom? What is happening? Okay, this is more familiar territory. Wow, this does not look very Mushroom Kingdom-like. Oh, that's cool. Oh, well, okay, then we've got some Mushroom Kingdom-type enemies. I don't know what I think about him being in, like, a metropolis with regular-looking people. I think I would have rather have just had Mario Galaxy 3. I 
I mean, this part looks fine. This doesn't... Oh, that's a cool idea, throwing his hat and then using it to jump off of. That looks kind of Mushroom King to me for a second there. Oh, no. That almost looks more like a Zelda enemy than a Mario enemy. What is it called? What is this weird new Mario game called? Odyssey. Uh, his hat has eyes. What the heck? Oh gosh, why? Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. Sorry for my Sorry appearance. For my I am Yoshiaki Koizumi. I mean, I'm gonna play it, but I'm kind of not a fan of it taking place in, like, a New York-looking city. This is the first time since Super Mario 64 and Super Mario Sunshine that we have created a large Mario sandbox world like this for you to run around in. The theme of Mario this time is a journey to an unknown world, and Mario has jumped out of the Mushroom Kingdom to go on an extraordinary adventure. I said unknown. But I like the Mushroom Kingdom. And at the end of the video, perhaps some of you have noticed some unusual eyes or something on Mario's cap. Oh, and right here. Right there. This mysterious cap in particular offers actions that can only be experienced on Nintendo Switch. This cap character plays an important role in Mario's journey. I hope you'll look forward to it. In the 20 years 20 since we years made since Super we Mario 64, 64, I have been on a long, long, long journey, long journey together, together with Mario. And we are working on this new journey called Nintendo Switch, with the excitement one feels when visiting unknown countries for the very first time. I'll be very happy if you can all join me in parting into this new Mario journey with Nintendo Switch. We plan to release Super Mario Odyssey in the holiday season later. Oh jeez, that's so far away. That's like a year away. So I hope to offer you a chance to try it out for the time. So please wait a little longer. Holy moly. Thank you very much. You'd think they would want the new Mario game at launch? Oh, my little soft, the new Xenoblades game. Ooh, it looks pretty. Hmm. I like this music. While this is going on, I just want to talk a little more about the Mario game. Uh, I wish it was a game that still took place in the Mushroom Kingdom. Frankly, I wasn't really a fan of Super Mario Sunshine because it just felt so different from the rest of the games as far as the aesthetic went. It was just like the whole Isle Delfino thing. It, it, it just it didn't feel like, I don't know, like the Mario that I grew up with. It. I missed all the regular enemies and just the regular type of gameplay. Um, I really love the Galaxy games, and I wish that they would do another game like the Galaxy games, but I guess Super Mario Odyssey is their next adventure, and that's fine. I'm sure for a lot of people, it will be like their favorite Mario game or something. It's just for me. I don't think I'm going to buy it uh, 
when it launches. I'll, I'll wait a while and hear from others whether it's good or not. I think I'm about to sneeze. This must be the fire. <coughs> Excuse me. Hopefully I remember to edit that out. Oh, Fire Emblem Warriors. Yep, the rumors were right. The Nintendo Switch concept has resonated with many developers, and there are currently over 50 companies working on games. Wow. Over 50 companies working on games. Sheesh, 80 games in development for the Switch. Square Enix has already announced that they are preparing Dragon Quest X and Dragon Quest XI for release on Nintendo Switch. I cannot wait for Dragon Quest XI. But there is another Dragon Quest game making an appearance. Another Dragon Quest No. I don't really care about Dragon Quest Heroes. Now, take a look at this. Is this I wonder if my mic is picking up the dog next door barking we'll find out while I edit this Really using the subtitle, please. What is this? This looks really cool. that art style. It's like pixels in 3D, but not like voxels. Octopath Traveler. Hmm. Now that looks like my cup of tea. What you just what saw, you just saw was the latest game the latest in the game Atlas series. series. Shin Megami Tensei, Megami Tensei celebrates its 20th anniversary, this, anniversary year. this year. Development has only just begun, just begun, but they were kind but enough to prepare, enough this, to prepare video this video for us video today. For us today. And, the other title and the other title is a brand, is new, a brand RPG new RPG from Square, from Square Enix. Enix. Its, world its world boasts a unique, a graphic, unique graphic style, style and, sense and sense of scale. Of scale. Very unique. Information in the future. Future. No, I want more info now. Let's hear from Let's some hear of the developers, developers working on new working games on new for games Nintendo, Nintendo Switch. Switch. Start. We start. Let's, Let's switch, switch over to this individual. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. I am Toshi Yamanoshi from Sega. That's a very interesting jacket. Tremendous amount of steel 
and necklace. Okay, that was slightly awkward. Yeah, 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 we already knew that Skyrim was coming. I do really love the theme song to Skyrim. I mean, everybody does, let's be real. Oh, it looks so beautiful. Oh boy, what was that? Oh, it's Suda 51. <laughs> of course it is. He's a bit eccentric. This particular person doing the dub, <laughs> this is, I think, the second person that he's been dubbing for. This I mean, maybe they're providing him with the words really slowly, but it's really not working for him so well. Oh. 
It's kind of the reverse of what we usually see. <laughs> He's translating into Japanese instead of into English. <laughs> you named a son after Luigi, that's interesting. So today, we are extremely excited to announce that the world's most popular sports game will be coming to Nintendo Switch later this year. FIFA? I forget, does EA do FIFA? So is it FIFA 17 is coming to the Switch? Yeah, it's FIFA, of course it is. <laughs> he was about to translate, and then the guy just kept on talking. Bill Trennan's a pretty cool guy. Honestly, I prefer him dramatically to Reggie fils -Ami, and I wish that... I don't know. I just wish that we would see more of Bill Trennan and less of Reggie fils -Ami. I didn't realize how short he was, though, or maybe this guy from EA is a giant. to the end of this thing when we still haven't seen a Zelda trailer. I am not sure about that Mario game. Ugh. It's just awkward seeing him with his weird proportions next to regular proportioned people. That new RPG from Square Enix looks amazing. I'm definitely buying that. Honestly, I'm more excited about that than any of these other new games they've showed. Shown. Showed. Than they have shown. Minecraft. Oh, that one cool game that I forgot the name of. Rhyme. Or Rhyme. Oh, yeah, they didn't talk at all about the new Mario Kart. That's weird. 
Oh, that's the end. Oh, no, it's not the end. Okay, phew. I just want a new Zelda trailer, come on. Allow me to share with you our Nintendo Switch product configuration. They're different bundles, apparently. Let's see what they are. The Nintendo Switch system will include the Nintendo Switch console, a left and a right Joy-Con. Joy-Con wrist straps. I don't care about the Joy-Con wrist straps. Okay. The Nintendo Switch dock. Yes. An HDMI cable. Hello. Okay. Yeah, that's a given. An AC adapter. Okay. Sure. Yeah. The Pro Controller will also be available separately. Sure. Of course. There will be two versions. One model with gray Joy-Con controllers, and another model with one neon blue and one neon red. I guess I kind of like the gray ones better. We have shared a great deal of information with you through this presentation, and more details will be available on our Nintendo Switch homepage after this presentation ends. But first, I would like to ask Nintendo of Europe and Nintendo of America to share their message with their fans watching around so localized conclusions oh or not okay I mean, I don't hate Reggie or anything, but I just find him slightly off-putting. I just wish it was Bill Trinan presenting. Or Nate Bilderoff or something.
Breath of the Wild. Yes. Oh, good. We get a look at some new Breath of Wild footage. Uh, Mr. Miyamoto. <laughs> <laughs> I love Mr. Miyamoto. He's adorable. I've seen him in person at E3. I didn't get a chance to say anything to him or anything. Oh! It's Mr. Iji Ayanuma. I also saw him at E3, but didn't get a chance to say anything to him. We don't know when we're launching Breath of the Wild. We want to know when Breath of the Wild comes. Oh, they're delaying it, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just want to see Breath of the Wild and know when it's coming out. We do have one last thing to share with you today. Yes. Before we do, I would like to humbly and sincerely thank everyone here for listening and everyone around the world for tuning in. Okay, get on with it. Ooh, new Breath of the Wild trailer. Gosh, this game is beautiful. Look at that. I cannot wait to explore this land. Aw, look at that wolf or fox or whatever it is. Karokes! Look at those cute Karokes. I love Karokes. Karokes are one of my favorite Zelda creatures. The Master Sword. Ooh, I like this song. It's very cinematic. Oh. Oh my gosh, that looks scary. <laughs> talking to us oh my gosh what the heck there's calamity gannon all right oh wow oh, oh my gosh Ooh, time travel, I bet. Apparently, Link existed a hundred years, was in stasis, and then fell asleep. 
I mean, listen, Stasis was asleep and then awoke. Who the heck is that? That doesn't look anything like Zelda. Oh, I guess it is Zelda. It's so weird to hear voice acting. The Zelda song. Oh wow, what <laughs> what was that? Is that the new Zora? Oh my gosh, that's so cool. <sighs> so when is it releasing? comes out at launch, March 3rd. Okay, guess I have to get a Switch at launch then. Oh my gosh. I'm so glad that it's a launch title. And I guess that's over. Well, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I don't know how watchable this is. <laughs> um, if you've made it this far, then what I'm about to say next is completely pointless, but what I'm going to do is release this as is, as the full version. Then I'm going to spend a lot of time tomorrow editing it down to just any moderately interesting thing I had to say or any kind of reaction I had to anything. And uh, anyways, that will is what my task will be tomorrow. But if you're watching this, it doesn't really matter because you already have seen it. So anyways, thanks for watching. Just like you, I'm super excited for the Switch. I cannot believe that, you know, there were all those rumors that Breath of the Wild was going to be delayed and it wasn't coming out at launch, and thank goodness those rumors were complete BS, and apparently it's coming out everywhere, um, all regions at launch, so that is awesome. Um, anyways, see you guys in a couple days for more news. Bye, guys.